This is Backwoods Billy coming to you from the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore. Today, in spring, in April, finally towards the end of April, we reached 84 degrees on April 25th. Um, but we never got past 70. Anyway, well, one day it was 80. We had some in the winter, we had some that high, 70 degrees. This is the um, barn because I talked about it in my one review of a Goose Island Red. Blue Bay Crab Company Barnacles, uh, www.bluecrabbay.com. It's B-L-U-E-C-R-A-B-B-A-Y.com, www.bluecrabbay.com. Um, there are several different ones. This is a spicy snack mix with Chesapeake Bay uh, seasoning, which is like Old Bay seasoning, crab seasoning, basically, on the nuts. And um, there's um, all kinds of things in here. You have the pretzels. Uh, well, most of the things are going to the crack is with the foot. Uh, here's one. There's these nuts, uh, sesame sticks, little uh, rye crisps, and assorted nuts. Very, very tasty. About uh, $5 to about $8, you know where you buy them at. Most liquor stores around this area carry them. Most gourmet stores have them. <clears throat> and um, the tourist area has them. Delaware, Virginia as well. So anyway, very, very good. Today we're here to talk about Samuel Adams. Rebel Rouser Double IPA, 8.4% alcohol by volume, and 85 IBUs. Woo wee! So anyway, we have Samuel Adams Double IPA, and we're going to talk about what this says on the front of it here, which is this Double IPA is big brewed with over five pounds of hops per barrel of American and Australian hops, and packed with fruity citrus, pine, and Resin notes for a uh, bold hop finish. Cheers, my bad. No glasses today, so <clears throat> well, little, uh, not as well in the small print. Oh anyway, man, can't see. I can see a mile away. Can't see shit close up. Anyway, <laughs> a little small print fucked up for me. Anyway, um. Anyway, that aside, we're gonna do this one. This is Samuel Adams Double IP. Those that like double IPAs, this may be up your alley. Good thing. Samuel Adams is one of the original craft. Uh, beers, uh, Boston Beer Company, Samuel Adams, nice pop top cap, again, it's got their logo on it, very good branding, second of all, you can make crafts with this, like we talked about, magnets, put them around the fire pit, you can make uh, buttons, oh, Christmas wreath, you can Christmas wreath, um, <laughs> make fishing lures, there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of easy you can do, you'd be surprised you can do with these, anyway, um, get, get one of, this is a double IPA, so we chose the IPA glass, wire at the bottom, narrower, like a woman's waist, <clears throat> and then a little bit wider at the top, and it gives you the ability to catch the aromas. Now, this is one of the things I agree with. Um, I also agree with the English style pub glass for a porter or a stout. Um, German style, if you like to use a Stein with it, fine, or uh, a traditional mug, that's fine. And for me, when we eat crabs, I generally use a mug because the crab seasoning and stuff like that, for seafood, it's easier to deal with. But, Most likely to drop your glass. Yeah. Also, you don't get mess everywhere. It's not slippery. And here we go. You can see three finger head very easily. This is a dark golden color, um, like the color of a light cream soda. Um, very nice. Uh, a light, well, I said off white head. That crew would be the best combination for the, the that technically call this. A lot of evidence in here. You see the little bubbles coming up. Um, you get the sweet malts, uh, you get the fruitiness from the hops. State bird in my ear. A little bit of pine, not very much. A little peppery. So we'll see how we get on the taste with this. Ooh, very nice lacing on the glass. Very creamy texture. Um, medium heavy mouthfeel to this. Uh, I would have to give this a backwoods billy. Two thumbs up, and um, their dog's going off. The neighbor's cutting grass like a thousand feet away. Huh, text from the screen, lovely. Um, you get the slight grapefruitiness to this, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of pine in the hop, and it's not overly bitter. Very well balanced. 
get a little peppery, uh, peppers and the hops, a little bug right there. Um, a little grapefruit, a little pine, very well balanced. One doesn't outdo the other one. Uh, a lot of these companies now that are brewing beers, for some reason, believe people want a freaking pine cone shoved up their nose and want to eat a pine tree to drink something. But anyway, um, that's not the case. There's a book, The Chemistry of Beer. I advise everybody to read it. Don't let somebody force you to drink something. This is the end thing. If you like it, then drink it. If somebody else isn't drinking it, it's you that's drinking it. So, um, this is a double IPA. In my opinion, it hits every note a double IPA should hit. I give it two thumbs up. Now, um, food pairings with this would be uh, basically fatty meats, pork, ribeye steak, T-bone steak, uh, grilled chicken would work as well, nuts, you know, you have, uh, sitting around with some friends around a bonfire, fire pit, poker, poker, fishing, this would go very well if, you know, well, when we were fishing yesterday or two days ago, definitely would have worked with uh, three foot shops. <laughs> but um, two foot chop and with a three foot chop. Um, anyway, it's, it's very, very good. In my opinion, it's two thumbs up. It's every note that it should hit for the category. And back with Billy, two thumbs up.